it's such a pleasure to talk to you to be very honest i mean the story would be incomplete without you and your inputs you've been you know like an inspiration for so many you know today we see so many chefs who are women in you know in the leading the kitchens but tell me tell me about your journey how has it been you know it's been a roller coaster ride interesting a lot of learning along the way um never dull day and one has grown personally as well as professionally right. um of course thanks to the opportunities given by itc hotels and uh, what was it like when you started did you uh, were there many you know women who were in the hospitality industry in terms of the back end of the kitchens uh so when i st- Actually, they weren't many. I don't. They were hardly any, actually, to be honest with you. You know, yeah. and uh, everybody wondered whether I would stick on or stay on for a longer time or not. So, uh, yes, they weren't many. Uh, but having said that, I think uh, I mean a lot of a lot of people ask me this question. I never felt that I was, uh, you know, an out from another gender or you know, I never was never made to feel uh, in any way mm, not equal. Right. Let me put it that way. Right. Uh, it was very much very cohesive. And people ask me, "Oh, twenty, thirty years ago, the kitchens must have been in a, you know, there was different mindset." So I don't think so. I never felt that kind of either a bias right. or I felt any kind of, uh, um, you know, undertones because of my gender. No. So there were not many challenges which you know you felt that they were there. as a woman you know behind the scenes well one well, thing there's a very interesting study i was traveling somewhere and there was this uh, uh, there were these ladies who were doing this study on the industrial mem- machinery and they were talking to me hmm. so they said that whatever used to be uh, uh, you know uh, let's say uh, was a woman's domain at home for example if she was embroidering or she was cooking or she was doing something else the minute it had commercial connotation it became man's world Yes. I mean, if you roll back twenty, thirty years ago or forty years ago, all tailors were men. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All cooks were men mostly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, of course, medical profession and all that's a different stream altogether. But mostly it was male dominated. It's not only the chefs, yeah. but the minute the minute money came in, the women did not did not step out and the man took over. Right. But of course, with education and with more more experience and exposure, women are stepping out. So I think that is changing now. Right, and also, and also, okay, sorry, the very major uh, point. Yeah. So when the when the male stepped out to make it commercial, all the equipment that was built mm. was built to his physique. Right. Okay. So perhaps the flip side was that perhaps the women were finding it little difficult or little challenging because of the, you know, in the kitchen maybe the larger burden or the certain height of the stock stove or whatever it may be. Right. Yeah. Uh, but i think with the mechanization and with more and more technology stepping in that is no longer a challenge anymore yeah even at itc i'm sure you know like uh, i i'm i'm forgetting the name the, the uh, i met last year you know there was a young female chef who was there and it was it was heartening to see and she you know she mentioned that you know with leaders like you you know who are there in you know leading in the kitchens it's also been an inspiration for a lot of youngsters because uh, I think even till date in the commercial space, like you said, you know, it's it's still not that easy. Firstly, you know, the whole thing of a woman chef, like a chef is a chef, a woman or not a woman, so irrespective of gender. Yeah, it's little yeah. unnerving. It's little. Uh, uh, yeah, when you take a little back step, when somebody says, "How does it feel to be a woman chef?" and you say, "No, but I never thought of it like that. Yeah. I thought I was just a chef." so i i i'm sure it's been an inspiration i mean you've been an inspiration for so many uh, today we see a lot especially in delhi there are a lot of women chef you know who are leading the kitchen yeah. and they yeah. have a sta- they have you know stand alone restaurants and the one thing which a lot of them mentioned to me you know when i was talking to them is how the investors perspective changes the moment they know that you know it's a woman who's going to be leading the team So, did you face any of those kind? Like you've always been in the hosp, you know, in the hospitality industry. You've been in the hotels. To from even from the guest sides, have you have a have you felt that there was a difference in the way they treat, say, a man, and the way they treat you? So, so if you can tell me, what was the investors' perspective? Were they more confident or were they underconfident? Underconfident. <laughs> underconfident. Oh, that's surprising because I, anyway, I think a lot of ladies chefs are doing a great, great job. Yeah. Anyway. 
but i i don't think so i i never felt like that because you know when you reach a certain position uh i started of course as a management trainee with ipc and then it's been a journey uh, with yeah. different yeah. stepping stones uh but uh, of course at, at each level you you have a certain role to do so your guest interaction perhaps comes when you are an outlet chef by then you have already proved yourself uh you have reached a certain um, certain landmark and uh, i i think guest maybe perhaps had more confidence in our cooking than perhaps uh, uh, a male can a man chef can equally cook well i'm not saying that i'm not getting into that feminism spree at all mm. but uh, but i don't think i ever felt like that it's that they were all the more confident i still have a great uh, connect with my guests who were who are catered in moria right and yes there is always a double take they take when they see a lady chef right it's a pleasant surprise to them uh, perhaps i didn't feel it like that because when they come to a hotel and an organization like itc hotels right they perhaps would know that one has reached there to that level perhaps with a certain kind of uh, credibility or you know having worked her way up yeah. so there was never a question of a doubt in their mind no lovely i think what really helps also is that you know to have a strong support system to you know kind of lift you up and i think it's 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 really great to know that you know you always had that any message you would like to give to youngsters who are planning to step into this field or are already here i always say uh, i don't think uh, the gender should be a deterrent yeah uh, but also i think uh, lady chef should also understand not to take it to their advantage as well at the same time right uh, you know as uh, uh, if you want equal space if you want that space there along with the with your male counterparts then you have to work equally hard as well uh, yeah. if not more you know you need to then you really can't hide behind the fact that you are a you are from another gender that is having said so uh, i think it also works it to your advantage because being a woman you are much more a uh, creative uh, you are much more observant you are much more uh, i think you have your sixth sense always there uh, so you understand what will click what will not click that is the advantage all women have not yeah. only chef every woman has that that advantage and that you must use it for your profession to work in the right manner right right Perfect. Thank you so much, Chef. I wouldn't keep you too long from your day. It's been great chatting with you. Thank you. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.